All right, we are gonna be doing a haul today from a brand that I have not purchased from in quite a while because I sort of like went down the rabbit hole and bought all the things and then I had to like pump the brakes and then recently sales, they just got to my deal lover's heart and I couldn't resist all the sparkle. Glam shop. Yes, I have quite the glam shop haul here to share with all of you. We are gonna do swatches. I have a couple of the liquid shadows slash eyeshadow bases. I bought a glam shop brush to try out and quite a few shadows, quite a few and a palette. Well, we've got a lot of things to go through, so we're gonna get into that. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Like my whole entire Glam Shop collection of singles swatched, because it's coming. It's coming, I actually was thinking of doing it in this video, but I was like, you know what? I have so many, so many little new pretties that I wanted to share with all of you and give their moment in the sun. And in all honesty, because I have all of these now, I really need to take some time to organize all of my glam shop. So that has to come first. So we're just gonna enjoy a little, a little appetizer, if you will, today, and then you'll get the full three course meal down the road. So that's gonna be what I'm sharing with you today. As you can see, I don't have any eye makeup on right now, so we are gonna be doing a quick little look. I thought it would be fun to try out one of these bases. So I can't wait to show you what I picked up in the recent sale. Let's get into it. Hello, hello. So I did really quick just want to swatch out these bases. They're listed as like liquid eyeshadows slash eyeliners slash bases. Uh, I have a feeling that I will just be using them as bases, but I, I, you know, I can't resist a good cream shadow moment. Let's face it. So I, uh, let's see, what did I get here? I got nude pink and then I also got oranges. Um, I just thought like obviously the nude pink one is gonna be something that I can use with a lot of different looks and oranges is something that I just couldn't resist because I love a good orange moment. So here is the pink one and here is the orange one. There you go. You can probably see that a little bit better right there. So I'm gonna let these hang out and we'll see what kind of finish they dry down to then that way we can, you know, kind of know what we're getting into. I will say they feel very, very thin. I don't know how pigmented, like I don't, again, I think this is for me gonna be a base and this is obviously just off of like a swatch, but you know, up really close. Oh, maybe you guys, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. So they're, they're kind of thin, you know, I feel like to get full pigmentation, like fully saturated on your lid, you'd have to like build it up. I don't know that that's the life I want to lead, but we'll see. We won't know until we get them on the eyes. As fun as this orange one is, I think I'll probably end up using the nude pink one uh, today just because that will give me more opportunity to use a couple of the other shades that I have in here, but we'll see. Who knows? So let's go ahead and get into some of these swatches. So I do have a wide variety of shades here to go into. Um, I think I have a little mix of everything. I think I have some of the crystal shadows. I have some of their multi-chromes. We've got some of the turbo glow. I've got some mattes in here. It's kind of like all over the place. You know what, before we get into these, let me show you the palette that I decided to pick up. So I just thought this was kind of funny. Um, so Glam Shop, by the way, I think is discontinuing a lot of these um, I think they call them glam boxes, but it's these little nine pans. I did get the Celadon palette, by the way. So here it's, oh, I mean, look at this. So cute. There you go. That's like a little bit more accurate representation. So if you know me, you know I love a good yellow. I also love a good teal moment. So this is just like a perfect little palette that I think will be good. You know, it's a good soft summer pop, but also a great spring palette. So I think I will really like that. But I did notice that because they are clearancing out of these, they're also getting rid of their single shadows, like any that they have left over. I'm assuming that they hadn't put in the packaging yet. They're getting rid of their singles. So I did actually pick up two singles from this little palette. So I got Mint, Cream, and Pea Puff. So those are the two from this palette that I got. Oh, you know what? I'm just realizing I did also get uh, Taffy. <laughs> from this. I will swatch these out for you. So three of the three of the shades from this palette I got in singles. Like what, what was I doing? I don't even know. I will say Glam Shop was having a pretty good sale. I think it was like up to 50% off. That's the thing. Like you really don't know what percentage anything is off until you like go into the website. That's a little bit annoying, but 
at any rate. So I did pick up a couple of those. Am I mad about that? No, not necessarily because I feel like these are tones that I tend to like enjoy popping into like my own singles palettes. If you're new to my channel, I started a series about a year ago with my friend Kara from Beauty and the Frizz where we build a palette themed around something every month. So I definitely could see using these in that. Um, and you know, if I ever like hit pan on any of these, I can like pop them in here. Do I think I'm ever gonna hit pan on many shades in my palettes? No, probably not. Speaking of hitting pan, um, I did also get get a shade that, you know what, I might actually hit pan on. This is uh, Limetta or Lime from the Citronata palette. So this is Citronata and it's this one right here and I already actually have a pretty good dip in that one. Um, and I love, I love using these fun yellows. So I'm, I'm not too, I'm not too bummed about that. And then I did also get Unholy from the Paprika palette. There we go. So just a, like a fun kind of like orangey red. So since these are all from previous palettes, I just kind of wanted to like notate that. I'm going to swatch these very quickly and I will just run through them with all of you. All right. So I went ahead and threw on one more shadow from this haul uh, just because it's the one other matte that I got. Uh, I did use this in a recent video. This is Carrara. So I'll hold it up here. It's basically just a white matte. I did use this in last month's BYOP, which was a red, white, and blue theme. So you can actually see a couple of the shades from this haul in action in that video so I will make sure to have that link down below so that you can check it out if you want to see but uh, it's just a nice white matte shade which honestly I really enjoyed using more than I thought I would and so I definitely think I'll be grabbing for it more whether like it's this matte to use in other palettes or it's like a white matte in general I know I have one in my blend bunny blends palette uh, so, you know, it's just something that I've really been enjoying doing. But anyway, here is Unholy. And then the next one is that Limetta shade. Then we have, what is that? Mint cream? Mint cream. I love the fact, thank you Glam Shop, for all of us like lazy English speaking people who don't love having to look up the, um, the uh, translations of... <laughs> The, uh, the Polish words and or are just too embarrassed to try to pronounce them. And then this shade, oh, this is so cool. I don't know if it's coming up right. There we go, maybe that'll help a little bit. It is, I think you could see it better when I didn't have these here, but it is this like, oh, what is this one called? P something, sweet pea, no, pea puff, yeah. So it is totally that like slightly dirty camel, slightly green shade, it is so much fun. And then that yellow there is the one um, taffy. So that's also from the Celadon palette. So if you're just wanting like a really fun little palette, uh, totally pick up this one. It's still on sale, by the way. Um, I think that there was only one shade out of my entire haul. I just checked earlier before I started filming. There's only one shade from my entire haul that isn't available anymore. And it's this one right here uh, that like mint cream. So if you did want that one, you'll have to snag it in the palette. Now, obviously, the stock might change by the time I get this video up, but at the time of filming, that was the only one that was out of stock. So there are our first few shades. So since we've got some warm tones right here, I'm just gonna continue on with some of the warm tone shades. And I think that's how I'm gonna do this one. I'm not going by like shadow type, partially just cause it's like a hot mess in here. I'm just gonna go by color type. So I also have one other yellow shade and this is Yellow Flare. Honestly, I thought this was maybe in the Citronata palette, but it is not. Um, so I will go ahead and swatch it and then let you know how it's different from the shimmery one that is in the Citronata palette in case you do have that one. So I am always on the hunt for a beautiful yellow. Like it's just something that I can't get enough of. I'm always looking for, I don't know, a special yellow. That one is very, very pretty. So you can see here in the Citronata, there is a uh, Lemoniada and there, this one is Rockus or um, not Rockus. It's Raka, which is yellow flare. So you can see the difference here. The one in the Citronata palette is just a little bit like lighter and I would say more almost like neon-y. This one is a little bit deeper, almost like a golden yellow, I would say. So very, very pretty. Different enough that I'm glad that I have it. I mean, obviously I bought some that I already have in palettes, so that's not that's probably not saying very much. But then here's one uh, that I have used. This is Catchy. So you can see here, I mean, especially like right now, that is showing that shift perfectly. It shifts from this like, <sighs> kind of like greeny teal flip into like a peachy shift. Like when it's here, it almost looks kind of similar to the one above it. 
well, okay, not really, but you know what I'm saying. Like it looks so different. And then if you get it to shift right, it is just so magical. It's very, very pretty. I'm glad to have that one in my collection. Um, I think for me, sometimes the Glab Shop site, like their pans that they show in the like preview look kind of different, especially some of the multi-chrome ones. They just look kind of different. So you definitely have to go in and click to see the swatches. So another fairly warm toned one that I have is the shade uh, Pink Frog. This is one of the multi-chromes. So you can see here, it obviously, given the name, switches from a very pink to very fun, kind of like funky green. I mean, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. So, oh, I mean, look right there. Wow, she's shifty. Now, I know that this is not exactly like the most uncommon multi-chrome shade, but this, they do it beautifully. I mean, the texture on this is wonderful. It's very, very creamy. At first, I thought that this was going to be kind of similar to Australis from Divina Cosmetics, one of the Aurora Flares. I feel like it's a bit it's a bit different though. I'll have to look through my collection. I Like I said, I know that there are definitely other shades out here. I might have the Terra Moons one. If I do find any like dupes or comparisons, I will put them in at the end of this video if you are interested, by the way. So those are like the two, you know, kind of like warmer shades. Oh my God, this is so magical. I can't believe I haven't put that one on my eyeballs yet. So let's go ahead and move into some other ones that I know that I'm gonna compare at the end of this video. And that is the uh, Crystal Shades. So the crystal shades, I believe that that's what these are. Um, these are all the, the ones that are like very similar to the One Terra Moons collection or like the Moonscapes collection from Divina. It's all of those like very sparkly, very metallic kind of vibe. Like a lot of them are almost like in like a nude. It's like a colorful nude, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna swatch these. I'm just gonna like go ahead and throw them on and then we'll compare all the colors. <laughs> all right, so here we have the crystal or crystalline collection, or at least the ones that I have from it. So you can see here, these are just like super high metal. They are not shifty by any means. They are just really freaking metallic. So from the top here, uh, that's this one here. This is sparkling opal. And then we have pink morganite. We have jasper. And then we have mountain crystal and aquamarine, so mountain crystal and aquamarine. I mean, those are like very, very wet looking for sure, right? Like so crazy. Um, hopefully you guys are getting to see all of these and it's not like blurring out. I'm really trying to make sure that my camera's focused. Uh, editing Kelly, if this whole thing has been a hot mess of unfocused shadows, you can go ahead and enter that right now and we'll all laugh at me. But. These are, I mean, you can see like when they're not hitting the, the light, you see the darker under base and then you can see just that like shine over the top. So when I wore these, uh, it the under base did stain my eyelid just a little bit. I think it, I can't remember which one it was that I used, but it did stain just a little bit. I mean, by the next morning when I washed my face again, it was fine, it was gone, but I did just wanna note that. But these are very metallic. I will be pulling out a couple of the shades um, from Terra Moons and from Davina to show you the texture difference, the sparkle difference, everything. I will say that these are a bit flaky, but they are a creamy flaky. If you're an indie shadow lover, you know what I'm talking about. They're flaky, but they're really soft and like emollient at the same time. So. Time to, time to get to wipe in, I'll be right back. Okay, just a little um, side note, by the way, these bases have dried really matte. They also though, like the one, the orange one, um, from like flexing my hand, and I was actually doing a couple lip swatches for a friend, or not lip swatches, swatches of lipstick, uh, the orange one has kind of like flaked a little bit. That's a little concerning. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, we're gonna move into some green shadows that I got. I'm really excited because you know I love a good green. Let's go ahead and dip into these. So our first one is Mix. This is a beautiful, like, pale shade. I hope that you're gonna be able to see that. Can you see how it's like a pastel, but a little bit shifty too? Very, very pretty. And by the way, pretty much all of these swatches, I've been doing two passes. Um, other than the crystal shades because those don't need two passes like when you dip your finger in it's quite thick <laughs> So those did not need it at all. So there is that one and then we also have the shade Venomous, I think this one was on my list for a while. It's this beautiful like bright 
you know, it's bright, but it is also like a little bit, almost like a celery color. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I've still got, I've still got some swatches lower on my arm. So this is interesting because, oh, well, first of all, it's interesting because I'm making a mess, but this shade, oh, see, look, you can see that like fun shift. It is flakier. It's definitely flakier. Like I would definitely use either like a mixing medium or a damp brush with this one. Oh my gosh, that's so fun though. Like you can really see that. It's just like a delicate shift, but very, very pretty. But it's like, it's almost kind of, I don't even think you're going to really be able to see that, especially next to this one. Cause it's so fine and like almost powdery in a good way. But this, it just, it just looks flakier. It's going to make for more texture. I'm going to stop like trying to come up with words that I can't seem to find. <laughs> so then we have the shade, uh, Flora. Is this, is this a multi-chrome? I can't remember. I think it might just be a duochrome. Who knows? Maybe it's just a turbo glow, but this is a very pretty shade. I mean, I love a good green. I just love a good green and I can't stop myself. Okay. So this one again has a little bit of a shift. It's really delicate though. It is like a purpley grayed out blue, if that makes sense, into that green. And then you can see it, it's a little bit more limey green. So it does have a shift. It's just not like as ba-bam as Pink Frog is. So it's very, very pretty though. Okay, this shade is super interesting. This is the shade Reddish Grass. So, this is almost like in that same formula as Mix is, the first green one that I put on here, where it's much finer, more satiny. This definitely has a very different texture to it. I haven't swatched this one yet. Actually, most of these I haven't swatched yet, let's be honest. Huh, okay. So I, I did have to like build this one up a little bit, but hopefully you can see it has like a purpley red base with a little bit of like a green shimmer to it like that like green shift. This almost reminds me, there's that one Terra Moon shade, but it's a matte where it like starts out, does it start out green and it blends to a red or it's the opposite? It starts out like a reddish brown and blends into green. I cannot remember, but that's kind of that vibe that it's giving me. These are all really fun. Ooh, you can see how like bright that can really get there. Fun, fun. Glam Shop never, I mean, never disappoints. Like seriously, these are just a lot of fun. I have a few more shades to share with you and they are more in the purpley, blurply category. So this first one, actually these first two, I already have, but they have both busted. So this first one I knew I needed to get back into my life uh, when it busted. If I had used it, I'd only used it once and it was a while ago. One day when I was filming a little reel using all of my single eyeshadow collection, I had them all like laying downstairs and Jeremy like set something on the table and like one of my palettes like flipped off and it was of course a Glam Shop palette and so some of the shades in it like busted. These are very soft, delicate shadows. So if you are rough with your shadows or you don't have a place that you can store them safely, uh, buyer beware because these are very, very soft. But this moon dust shade, it just, it was obliterated. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And when I swatched it out, I was like, whoa, if I haven't used this shade, I really need to. And so what was left, the little crumbles that were left in the pan, I used the next day and I just fell in love with it. I hope that you can see the magic that this has. I feel like it's so delicate that I'm I'm not sure that you're gonna be able to see the, the bit of shift that it has. It's almost like an ultraviolet, slightly pinky hue into this light purple and, or like light blue. It's, it's so pretty. It is, it's like a ultraviolet pink into a blue shade and it's very pastel, very soft, very pretty. I really like that one. The other one that had completely gotten smushed, I don't think, I don't think that this happened in in the wreckage that Jeremy caused. There were a few that busted. Maybe it was one of them, but there was also one that um, I dropped and it just went everywhere. And I think it might've been this one. This is peculiar. By the way, I don't think that I showed moon dust up close. So let me do that for you. So there is moon dust. It's very pretty. If you like iridescent shades, you would really love that one. So now we will give peculiar its moment. Again, this is one that 
I just don't think like shows as special in the pan as it is. It's just a fun one. Okay, so you can probably see where this has a little bit of a, almost like a sheer burgundy base, I would say. And the shift goes from like a pinky purple into a blue. There we go. Hopefully you can see it a little bit more. So it's definitely more like purpley and then you can shift into that like it's so understated but it's very pretty. I just think that these are quick and easy like whisk all over the lids with maybe one matte shadow or just like throw a light shimmer all over the lid and just have that like something a little bit special. These are both really fun. I'm glad I picked them up. I wasn't well moon dust for sure I was going to pick up in my next glam shop order and then of course with the shipping costs like I was like okay you might as well get peculiar too but I don't know if I had I don't know if I would pay full price for this one again but it was a really good deal so this is Aurora this is one of the turbo glow pigments very very shiny this again has a bit more of a thin texture so I think you could shear it out I think you could use it as a topper but I do also think that you could probably build this one up get a little bit on here so this one goes from a I don't want to say periwinkle but it's like cornflower blue into like a greeny gold shift that's what I would say like I feel like right there you can kind of see that shift I will have to like zoom in some of these really delicate shades I'll get a little bit closer at the very end when I've swatched all these but then we have uh, gasoline this is a deeper shade as you can see here so this is definitely on the other side of the uh, <laughs> the depth selection I will say also this one um, I don't know if it was when it was like put together or if it's just because the emulsifiers within this are starting to come out and maybe get a little slippery. You can see I've got like oil staining on the back of this, um, but the label is crooked and it's kind of like off. That kind of drives me nuts a little bit, but oh well, what are you going to do? So this is almost like a like mid-nighty blurple shade. These ones are definitely more satiny feeling. I mean, obviously I'm just using a dry finger and unprimed skin here, but they aren't like overly thick and chunky. They're definitely not flaky. Oh, right here I can like see, I, I don't know why it's not like picking up, but I can definitely see the shift. So you've got like a bit of a pink shift into this like blue and teal, but it has that like dark base. I will go ahead, I've got one more to swatch here, but I'm definitely gonna have to like zoom in so that you guys can see the delicacy of these. So the last one that we have is another multi-chrome and this is OMG. So this one shifts from a like purpley blue into a beautiful green teal shade. It's so pretty. I probably didn't need this one because I probably have one from Davina that is very similar from the Aurora Flares, but I couldn't not try the multi-chrome formula from Glam Shop when I did my order. And of course with the sale, I was like, okay, now's the time. Yeah, so there you can kind of see that shift. You've got the greeny blue and that, you know, purpley pink. It's like right over the bend of my arm. So you can see there like, how much that shifts. This is definitely a very shifty shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom you guys in. All right, I feel like here we can kind of see. So you can see that purple into that aquamarine blue. This one, for some reason, it's not picking up. I think that this one is just like really goofing everything up. But then you can see, uh, which one was this? This was Aurora, right? So this is, it's got that like fun, blue into that like goldy green and then this is almost like a like a rosy nude and then here we have peculiar so since i can't seem to get some of these others to show their shift i at least want to show you how sparkly they are this one is moon dust uh this one is that reddish grass shade and then we have flora we have that beautiful shade uh venomous and that venomous shade is so pretty you can definitely see that like pink to green flip. It's subtle, but it's definitely 
like there so pretty and then this one again was mix it's there are several of these ones that are like that more like satiny formula which i actually really enjoy um but it's obviously you know it's not the super sparkliest well okay i'm sorry if the audio was totally wonky because i realized when i stood up that i didn't move my microphone so Sorry about that, but now we're gonna go ahead and play with some of these. So I did try to remove these bases. Uh, they were very difficult to just try to remove the wipe. So hopefully that means they'll be long lasting. I just hope that it doesn't look as dry on the lid as what it what it looked like on my hand. You know, it had that like crispity feel, but also, you know, my hand has like more etches and wrinkles in it than my eyeball does, hopefully. I don't know, we're gonna see here. I am going to go through with that nude rose shade and just kind of like blow it out. Um, just to honestly really use it as a base to see if they're worth it or if you should run away and save your money and use it on other sparkly shades. All right, I'm just gonna start out with one eyeball and uh, we will see because I really, really hate this. I don't wanna have to do it on both eyes and feel, you know, like really creasy and crazy all night. I don't really have a lot going on tonight. I do have a yoga class and that's it, but um, I don't wanna go looking like snake lady to yoga either. Okay, so that's just one very thin coat of that liquid eyeshadow. I mean, it's definitely very, very sheer. I'm propping just a little bit more on. This is definitely very liquidy and very sheer, um, which, you know, could be good, but I did prime my lids with a little bit of concealer. Um, again, just because like, I literally like wiped off the eye makeup that I was wearing before. So if you see a little mascara fleck falling, I still have mascara on, so I'm probably disturbing some of that. So I needed a little bit of coverage. I don't think that this shadow on its own would work for me as a base. I definitely, like as just the base, if I wanted to wear like a sheer shadow over the top of it, I'd still have to conceal with something more full coverage and then use this and then go over that with, you know, whatever shadow I wanted to choose. Cause I just feel like the veining and the discoloration of my eyelid would still show through. But I don't hate it enough to where I wouldn't use it on the other eye, which is what we're gonna do right now. Now, the nice thing about these is they don't really dry super fast. Like I feel like you have a bit of time to work with it. At least this one you do. Uh, obviously, I think the orange one will definitely be a test of the pigmentation of, you know, how workable it really is. But uh, I just didn't want to use the orange because I don't feel like there's a lot in what I grabbed that I could use. Um, I did use the catchy shade in my BYOP. So I wanted to use a few of the other shades, but I don't, I really, I don't hate this. I just don't know if I love it yet. I'll have to use the orange and get back to you. What I'll try to do is use the orange um, before this video goes up and then I'll leave a comment pinned in the comments, which is where you put comments. I'm gonna leave a comment pinned in the comments. Wow, okay, so uh, this does not look as like dry and flaky as I was worried about. It does dry down to like, mm, it's, it's not sticky, but it's also not super dry. Uh, this shade actually reminds me a lot of that rose matte shade from the House Labs Power Pigment Paints or whatever. It's, more sheer than that even though. So these are fairly sheer. Again, I'll have to use the orange at some point and go check the comments where comments go and you will know how I felt about that. I think I'm going to try using this mix shade. Mm, let's, let's put it in the like inner portion here. Ooh, that's, really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I know where I'm going with this now. That's super pretty. It's like, reminds me of Tinkerbell. So I think I'm going to end up making this a halo eye. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit wackadoodle. Like I, I feel mm, we might have to add a little bit more dimension to this. I just feel like it's so light. We're gonna get there, we're just playing, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, that Venomous shade. So that's that like the green with the pink shift and I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue down. I don't normally do that, but I think for this one we need to do that. Okay, so I just use a bit of the Glam Shop Glam Glue and now I'm gonna go through with my finger and try to like tap this 
on. I thought maybe the, um, the pink from that base color would enhance this shade since it had that like pink to green shift. And of course I'm using the one that I said has like flaky texture. So uh, I would probably normally use this wet just because that's probably how I would prefer to use this so it doesn't get super flaky. I'm not, I'm not loving how this color is looking on the very edges. I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit, I hope. And then we're gonna take that, um, that white shade, the Carrara shade, and then just use it on the very edges. And I have so much fallout from all of these shades. Uh, Glam Shop is definitely a brand that I would normally use um, without any other makeup on, like for sure because you know their their shiny shadows are so sparkly that you get a lot of fallout and their mattes are honestly really quite powdery so you get a lot of fallout granted i'm just kind of like whacking this on because i'm just playing with them for you um but you know this is definitely a brand that i usually put my shadow on first and then do the rest of my makeup but we're trying to save time here today peeps so i'm liking that better, but I think I still want to add, let's add in a little bit. I'm just gonna like keep wiping off this. This little uh, Crease Pro brush is really coming in handy. So I'm gonna take that mint cream shade. Uh, that's the one that was in the uh, Celadon palette. And we're gonna add this. Let's start on the outer corner. So I guess this technically isn't a halo eye anymore since I, um. I'm not gonna add this to the inner corner, but that's okay. I'm gonna take that same shade very delicately <laughs> on a brush to just run under my lash line for a little bit of color pop. Okay, it is like a smoke show up in here from all of the like powder from these mattes. Uh, it's a pastel and it's Glam Shop, so they're very, very powdery. So if you can't get down with that, don't get these. Uh, but like I said, I would definitely be doing my eyes first and then my makeup, then my face. I'm obviously, this is eye makeup, right? Okay, we are gonna take a little bit of that moon dust shade, that one that I repurchased, and that's gonna be what I pop on the inner corner. This is just such a pretty one. Okay, I like this. I mean, it's, it's light and ethereal, I definitely need to refresh my mascara. Um, I might put a little bit of like water liner on. I'm not quite sure. I don't really need it to go to yoga, but I might decide to do it just to give this a little bit more dimension. I'll be right back with the final look. All right, what a difference a little fresh mascara can do. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just went through, recurled my lashes, added a little bit of mascara. I did go through with the original House Laboratories uh, eyeliner, the Identify gel pencil liner in the shade Grime. That's what I put in on my lash line. So I just wanted to give you a close up look. Uh, I really like this look and I think you'll be able to see more so when I zoom out, but it's just a beautiful ethereal. I keep looking at myself in the monitor. Sorry about that. Um, it's just this like, ethereal, like I said, Tinkerbell makeup. And I'm really liking that. I don't know if it's because it's summer and I like a lighter feel. I don't know if I'm just feeling, it gives me a more youthful vibe and I'm just I'm just enjoying that. All right, so I do still have one more item to use. I have a brush, we're gonna use it on the Fache today and I'm just gonna zoom out, but I wanted to see this look up close. All right, see what I'm saying? Like, I like this. I just feel like this is this like pastel, slightly Tinkerbelly, I'm, I'm really here for it. Oh, I wanted to say, I did end up using a setting spray on my look. I think that that really took down the like powdery vibe that this eyeshadow had. And like I said, mascara totally made a difference. I'm really loving this look. So I did go ahead, like I said, and I picked up one brush. I got the Glam Shop T121 brush. It's this sort of like angled brush. I thought that this would be really good for highlight. If you know me, I like a good like strategic placement of brush, blush. <laughs> so this brush will be good for that. So I think I am, I probably have so much fallout on my face that I don't need any highlighter, but I feel like that's really what I wanted to get this for. So let me pull out a highlighter and we will go ahead and put a little razzle dazzle on the cheekbones. So I went ahead and pulled out the Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. This is this 
like, mm, can you even see it there? It's like this kind of like peachy pink kind of moment. So we're gonna try this one out. I do really like the shade and it's glowy without being like too much. This brush feels really soft. Let me know if you've tried any of the Glam Shop brushes. I really just wanted to get one to try. It does feel like it's a wood handle. It feels like it's wood. It might be plastic, but it feels like it's wood. And this bristles feel very soft. They are vegan bristles, by the way. Yeah, I really like this. It's like a perfect cheekbone hugging shape. But like I said, I think I could use this for blush as well. My lips are stained so pink from all of those Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. So if you do want to see that video, by the way, I will have that one up. Did I say I was going to link it? If not, I'm linking it. I'm linking it right here. But I am definitely loving this look. Like I said, I'm loving the light and ethereal, and I'm really happy to have these shadows. So um, I will again go ahead and put in some comparisons at the end of this video after I sign off. But I just wanted to give a little bit of my opinion on these. Um, so as far as the shadows that I think are standouts, definitely these crystal shades. Uh, if you like a good like high shine metal metal look, these shades are very beautiful and they're very impactful. I always love the turbo glow shades. I do think that there are a couple in here that are very thin feeling, you know, like that shade, the um, Aurora shade, that one. Oh, multi pastels. That's what these ones are called. The one shade mix. That's right. The multi pastel. So they're like pastel multi chromes. I do have a couple others. I really like them. They're just kind of fun. They're a little bit different. They are more of a satin. And I do think that there was that like satin quality to a few of these. The thing about Glam Shop is they have so many different formulas to try out, which is a lot of fun. I definitely think I'm going to enjoy all of these. Obviously these multi chromes are totally going to be a lot of fun to use. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to put Pink Frog on my face very, very soon. Let's talk a little bit about the mattes. So I personally, I like Glam Shop mattes. And like I said, I usually do my eye makeup first and then I'll do my face makeup. So the fallout really doesn't bother me. But if you don't like a drier, and I don't mean like in a bad way, but like a little bit more powdery, eyeshadow, then you're not going to like these at all. They are very soft. They're a little bit powdery. The thing that I like about that is usually you can build them up and you don't have to worry about them getting patchy at all. So that to me is a plus, but I do also think there's only so much buildability there is to them as well. So sometimes you can't get them like super, super intensely saturated. Now, the ones that I use today are hella pastel, like everything that I used is pastel. So the saturation level on that, you're not really able to see, but I have good luck with the mattes that are in all of the Glam Shop palettes that I have. I have picked up a few, you know, single mattes of theirs in like special shades or shades I think that I would use a lot. So, you know, get one or two to try if you are already doing an order. I think that's the best way to go about it. Um, it's not my favorite matte formula though. So that's what I have to say about that. I always, I mean, I don't really think that I regret any of these. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. The one shade that I'm just not sure when I will use it is this um, reddish grass. So this is that one that had that like warm base with the green, like very delicate flip to it. So this one is listed it's just listed as an eyeshadow. So I don't know if it's just one of like the basic eyeshadows. <sighs> the swatch of it looked way more fun on the website, I think. I think the only time that I would necessarily use that is if I'm looking for like a deep grungy smoky eye and I just want a little something different on the lid to give it a little pop. But knowing that I probably got a great price on that in the sale, I'm not too sad. The thing now is I really need to go through and organize all of these. I just can't decide if I want to organize all of my shades. I think I'm just gonna do it by color, which will break up some of, you know, obviously some of the like collections, if you will, but that way it's just easier for me to find what I need. I think at the end of the day, that's what I need to do. So that's gonna be coming in the future, that whole like glam shop swatch party collection video. That'll be a long one. This one's probably already a long one. So thank you if you've stuck through this. I do really appreciate you. And don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, let's see, let's talk a little bit about these bases. Like I said, I think, I mean, the texture of it, like I don't feel like it made my eyes more textured. Obviously you don't see any of the color at all, which is fine. I was really just using it to see how the consistency would be. I'll do this, this one. I will use this one and let you know in the comments. Uh, the brush is really nice. If I needed more brushes, which I don't, which I don't, <laughs> I would consider picking up some more of these. The, it feels a little, it's very, very lightweight. So that's why I'm like, is this wood? Is this plastic? I'm not sure, but 
it isn't like super weighty. They're very pretty though. So if this is like your aesthetic, I think it's very pretty. The brush was really soft. So I don't think that there's anything that I snagged in this that I don't like. Obviously I haven't tried the Celadon palette, but I did use one of the shades from it uh, because I have that extra single. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I think it was just fun to get to sit down, swatch a bunch of makeup, get covered in glitter, everything from my pants to my arms, to my wrists, to everything is covered in glitter. And you know, there's, there's something to be said for the fun that is involved in all of that. All right, lovelies, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking some time under your day to spend it with me. It really does mean so much. I will see you really soon. You can stick around now for those comparisons if you're interested. Hello and good morning. Please excuse the wet hair. I'm on my way to work soon and it's raining out, so I'm just gonna do my hair once I get to work. Anyway, so really quick, before we get into these comparison swatches, I just wanted to let you know that I did use, I don't know where it is now, but I did use the uh, Glam Shop Orange Base for my eye look today. So that's all that I have on, uh, just blended one shadow over the top. So uh, it's a Turbo Glow shade, whatever the shade is, I have to look it up because I'm not gonna even try to do this polish, but uh, <laughs> this is this is the only one that I have on my lid. So I will say at first when I put it on, I was like, yep, it's still very sheer. They do look kind of dry, uh, but once it sat on my skin, I think it, it ended up being fine. And definitely once I put on a little bit of uh, setting spray, it was great. So I just wanted to show you, again, that's all I have on with this one shade. So now we're gonna get into those comparisons. Okay, so here are our first three comparisons. Uh, on the finger. I think that they look pretty darn close, but I do feel like there are some subtle differences here. So we have Terra Moon's Mirage, we have Divina Australis, and then this bottom one is Glam Shop Pink Frog. So I will say I feel like the Terra Moon's Mirage one is the least boldly shifty. There's something a little bit grayed out about it. So you can also see here it doesn't have quite the hot pink that the other two shades do have. So, I mean, these are very, very close. Now I will also say that I feel like Pink Frog just has that little bit of extra shimmer and shine. It's not extra sparkly. There's just something that's even more reflective about it. It's really pretty. All right, here we have a couple more shades. So I honestly thought I was gonna have a Dead Ringer dupe but I feel like there's a mix. So this is OMG from Glam Shop. This is the one I pulled out. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be an exact dupe, but I really, I don't think it is. This is Polaris from Divina Cosmetics. It just doesn't have, in my opinion, it just doesn't have quite as much of that purpley shift. Now this one is Thermosphere from Divina, and I feel like it's almost like if Polaris and Thermosphere had a baby. I feel like that's <laughs> that would be OMG. And for reference, this is the other new, well, new to me Glam Shop shade, Gasoline. So I feel like that's also kind of like a combination here, but just like murkier and not quite as shifty. So, I mean, you can see they're not, it's just like this one has more of that vibrancy in that sort of like pink shift. I mean, you can definitely see right there. Like, I almost feel like you need a little bit of this guy in here or something. So, slightly different, which actually makes me happy because then I don't feel like I exactly duped out myself. All right, so now onto some of these metallics. So I swatched quite a few because I don't know that there is a necessary, like, uh, there's a color, there's a pretty close color dupe, but not quite. Okay, so the first one is Jasper from Glam Shop. The second one is Pink Morganite from Glam Shop. Now this one here is Pink Flare from Divina Cosmetics. This is from the Moonscapes collection. This one down here is Fire Hunt from Divina Cosmetics Moonscapes. And then this one right here is Palladium from Terra Moons. So... I will say that I think that Palladium, the Terra Moons formula, is definitely the most smooth, the least flaky. I, I will say I like that formula a lot. The Glam Shop is probably next up because it's a mix of like, like I said, that thick, creamy, but also flaky. And then the Divina ones are quite flaky. They're just a little bit drier, but they also have some of that like thickness. You really just have to like smooth all of these out pretty well other than palladium. In all honesty, that one just goes on really smoothly, but you can also see it doesn't have quite the sparkle texture to it. And which makes sense because to get that, you do kind of have to have a bit of that flaky texture. So none of these are complete 
dupes. I, uh, Davina doesn't quite have a rose goldy one. There's a couple like nudie shades, like this fire hunt shade. And then there's one that's a little bit more golden. The pink flare is almost like icy or pink. So there isn't really like a color dupe. I will say within the like greeny, there's that sage and aquamarine. The ones from between Davina and Glam Shop are fairly close. So I don't think if you have one that you necessarily need the other, but I wanted to show you the formula difference here. All right, lovelies, I'm gonna keep this short, but I just wanted to say, I hope that these swatches were helpful to you, whether it was the colors or the formulas. Again, we're trying not to dupe ourselves, right? So I wanna thank you for staying through this massively long haul video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you really soon.